touch as a mouse for your Mac or PC. So first go into your iPod touch and go to the App Store. Alright, I'm just going to wait for the App Store to load. And in the search bar you're going to type in remote pad and install it. Alright, so after you have it installed Um, you should be good. Um, and what you want to do, you want to scroll to where it says remote pad and press click and click on it. <laughs> press click. All right, so you're done there. Now, you put this aside. You're going to go to the link in the description and um, you're going to download r uh, the remote pad server for whichever uh, OS you're using. In my case, it's Mac. Uh, Mac. OS 10.7 10 and you're gonna just click it you can download and click it and as soon as you click it sorry I have to close it for a second all right as soon as I as soon as I click it you should see your computer show up and all you want to do is click on your computer's name and all of a sudden you have control of your computer so Press continue, and you can't see right now, but I'm controlling this with my with my uh, iPod Touch, and this is real. Let me tell you that. Um, so as you can see, there's a end drag button you can click. There's a you can right click. Keep pressing right click, or you can left click, and uh, it works pretty well, as you can see. Open up Safari here. Um, you can drag stuff around. So basically, this is kind of like a laptop trackpad, but it's not. Um, you could use a keyboard, but the connection is not encrypted, so it won't let you do it. But uh, yeah, it still works pretty well. So this is a little quick tip for all you guys that wanted to use your iPhone or iPod Touch as a mouse. So, yeah, subscribe to our channels, and I'll have more videos on Mac coming out soon.